Welcome back to the channel YouTube. My name's Chance. The channel is the Chance Bishop Show. I don't know. I tried a different intro right there. It didn't really work out. Welcome to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube for episode 19 of our MLB The Show 22 Road to Show featuring none other than Chance Bishop. You love to see it right here. We're starting this episode off, you know, in the hunt for the playoffs. Like, we need to get back to the playoffs. Last year, we made it to the playoffs and went all the way to what? To World Series? Like, that's, that's something huge for any team. Just to come out here, make it to the World Series, and then come back and hopefully not lose right away? I mean, that's we just need to build some momentum. That's all we need right now. Build momentum. Hopefully have ourselves a good last couple of games in the season. And that might propel us into maybe a playoff spot, wild card spot, hopefully. Maybe even, you know, win the division. I mean, that's always what you want to do is win the division. But you just, you just hope that it does happen at some point. Win the division, win it all, get back to the World Series. But Chance right there, he's going to do what he can do in, in this series. He's going to try his best to get some hits, you know, singles, doubles, get some steals. You know, that's his game right now. His MO, you know, he's going to run just a couple home runs, but he's not, not a power threat. I mean, hey, we do pick up. A, get a win here in game one of the episode. You know, Robbie Ray gets his 13th win. We got Chris Flexen, 10, 13, 336. ERA, right, 200 innings pitched, 200 hits allowed, 130 strikeouts to 45 walks. Eesh, not a not a big punch out guy. He's definitely an innings eater. Definitely an innings eater. We got Tatis grounding. It's going to be a double play right there. Hopefully not. We got, got the ball to second base way too slowly. Missed the tag. I mean, we get that tag. That's double play. Easy hands down. No way around it. Now, coming on here. You know, no double play, but we're going to get the ground out two first at least. So that's the best thing we can do in this situation. Just get the out that we can. Now we got Chance taking on the lefty. Batting from the right side. Chopper Tatis firing. And yeah, yeah, at least Tatis is playing now in this universe. Because at least now in real life, Tatis still ain't playing yet. Which is crazy. You know, what, motorcycle accident? And then they're like, yeah, he's not progressing far enough. And then Bryce Harper breaks his hand. And then he comes back quicker than Tatis. And Tatis has been out since before the season even started. Like, absolutely, like, highway robbery when it comes to that contract. You know, that Tatis signs that mega deal and... Yeah, he's not even living up close to that contract that the Padres are paying him. Like, you gotta pay him that contract, but I don't know. Like, it just seems like it was, uh, they jumped the perennial, uh, shark right there. Because he comes up, he gets hurt last year, he gets hurt this year, and it's, this Padres team definitely paying for it. But I say that, and the Padres beat us. You know, flex and drops to 10-14 on the season. You hate it. Marco Gonzalez. Respectable season, not great, not awful. 31 starts, 9 8, 4 16, 186 innings pitched. 128, uh, 128 whip, 41 walks to 111 strikeouts. I mean, none of these Mariners pitchers are huge strikeout guys. Which, and I guess coming from our franchise mode to this, it's like we go for big strikeout pitchers. We got Nola, we have Wheeler. Oh. Kershaw, Mad Bum. Mad Bum's not like a big strikeout guy in our franchise mode, but at least, you know, Nolan Wheeler, you know, can easily pick up 10 punch outs a game, and even even Kershaw. But we're coming out of here, like, just looking to do something. You know, Bishop gets a stolen base, 18th of the season. Bottom of the fifth, slow roller, the shortstop, firing in time. All right. We tried at least. We really did try to, you know, maybe get on base right there. But, hey, we're up 2-1. Runner on first now for Chance. We're going to hopefully come out here and no. Can't get the base knock. And that is unfortunate to say the least. But we get the win. We get the win and that's 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 all that matters. 3-2 win. Now we have Logan Gilbert. Gilbert having a good season. 200 innings pitched. A .97 whip. Only 148 punch shots out of 58 walks. And 
I don't know, I guess the future's coming down to how do these young pitchers progress here in Seattle. You have Kirby, Gilbert, and Hancock, and honestly, the pitching staff will go as far as those three develop. Also go as far as Chance Bishop Bat will let him go. You know, Bishop heading over 300 on the season here in his first full season. Hits his 15th bomb of the season. He has 18 steals, 15 home runs. And it's, it's, you know, it's pretty good right there to be Chance Bishop. You know, he's not the most, you know, power-centric player, but he comes out here and he does what needs to be done. And that's honestly the only thing that can be, can be done by him. Now here we go, Chance Bishop trying for the stolen base. 19 steals on the year. Are they, even, are they gonna give him the steal right here? I don't know. Oh, they they give him the steal. They give him the stolen base right there. 19 on the season. Sixth inning, bases juice, slow roller, flip to the second baseman. That's that's unfortunate. That is super unfortunate right there. Now here we go. Ball to right center, caught to end the eighth. I mean, hey, we're up 4-1. So as long as the bullpen can do it, and it does, we get the 4-1 victory right there. One run scored in the eighth by Boston. And we have Joe Musgrove on mound. Joe Musgrove just signed like a five-year, $100 million deal with the Padres. So this this move's not happening anytime soon. He's not going to be a member of uh, the Mariners. But their two starts, he's 14-10 and 10 at 3-4-3 ERA. 27 innings pitched. I mean, a 112 uh, whip. I mean, just, again, no big punch-out guys. You know, no 200 strikeout guys. It's not even like someone's like 190, 190, you know, like 180 range. No, it's like 150 at best. We're at the end of the season. No one's got anywhere close to anything. You know what I mean? It's like not even close to... 200 strikeouts or whatever, you know, the benchmark is for solid pitchers in 2023, four, right? 2024 is the year we're in currently in this franchise, or this road to the show, I should say. 20th stolen base acquired by Chance Bishop. So he's got a 15-20 season. It's, nice. it's a nice respectable season right there for any Second base. It's actually not a great speed series, but also not a great power threat. But to come out, you know, hit 15 bombs, in addition to steal 20 bags, you know, it just shows the versatility in Chance Bishop when he can do that. He can run into some home runs, you know, a respectable amount, a very respectable amount, and then he can steal a couple of bases. We also do beat out base hits in the infield. Now, diving play by the shortstop knocks it down. Bishop, though, he can outrun it. You know, if Bishop's like a first baseman or a catcher, it doesn't matter. He's not getting that one. But we do get the victory right here to wrap this episode out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. The last 18 or so episodes that have come out on YouTube. Definitely stay tuned for next episode coming out on Saturday. It's going to be a good one, I hope. I mean, Saturday noon. You know, we're taking on the playoffs. We're going to take a hunt. The Guardians in the playoffs. So stay tuned for that episode. Next on YouTube, though, peace out. Rock on.